everybody. This is the March 2023 seller shout out video. It's all about you, the eBay community, and what you sold. Nothing is in order, so listen for your name and your sale. And just a reminder, these sales come from the Money Making Monday thread on my Facebook group, so make sure to post your sales there for possible mention in these videos. Okay, let's go. We're gonna start with Summer. She said, my first Johnny Was find for $2 at a thrift. I don't usually visit. Stopped in during my kid's tennis lesson this summer. It sat in my unlisted pile for a while because it was pretty pilly and I couldn't figure out how to remove the pilling. I finally decided to give it one last lint rolling and called it a day and got it listed. Accepted a best offer of $40 after a couple of weeks. The item is Johnny Was T Tunic Women's Medium Gray Short Sleeve Embroidered. And it sold for $40. And just a side note on removing pilling couple of options there. You can buy a small handheld battery operated lint remover or my favorite go-to is a sweater stone because I feel like I have more control and it does a better job and I use a sweater stone on all kinds of fabrics cotton, obviously sweaters made of wool or cashmere. It even works great on fleece. And you can get a sweater stone anywhere sewing supplies are sold or on Amazon. I've had one for probably 10 years and it will probably last another 20. So a pretty low tech item, but it works very well. Okay, moving on to Steve Dover paid two dollars at a local thrift store listed less than two weeks sold for best offer of seventeen dollars plus shipping the item is adaptive disability handicap eating utensils so you can see they have the thick rubber grips on them look for these in that bucket of utensils they're pretty easy to spot two dollars sold for seventeen Diana Warren paid $2 for this at Goodwill. It sat in my money pile for a few months. Sold on a five-day auction for $50. This is a Simon Pierce glass snowman ornament. $2 and sold for $50. Emily Smith paid $3.99 last week listed and sold within the same week of purchase for best offer of $20 plus shipping Fabletics men's pants hmm I did not know Fabletics made apparel for men so thanks for that tip Emily so four bucks and sold for 20 Barbara Sieber Cahoon found for one dollar at an estate sale sold in 48 hours for full asking price it has hearts in her nose so maybe a valentine's gift for a collector so adorable this is a vintage 1989 play school nosy bear a dollar and it sold for 34 dollars and 90 cents Next up is Carol Hollis, paid $3 for this beautiful blanket at the thrift. Felt like brand new, sold for full price after about three weeks. The item is Pottery Barn Faux Fur Throw, reversible, sold for $64.95. And this is a reminder to me <laughs> to look more closely at the blankets because some of these are just so ordinary looking you wouldn't think they're worth so much money but yet here's the proof okay Karen Goodner Monks 
$5 at a garage sale, sold in about two days for offer of $45. This is a lot of 15 Disney Fairies books and they sold for $45 and cost her $5. Nancy Barr Strohs paid one dollar at a local thrift store. I think that's Salvation Army something. <laughs> Not sure what SVDP stands for. I just can't think of it offhand. Anyway, the item is Salvador Dolly t-shirt. It sold for $65. Okay, Julie Gambino purchased at Goodwill for $3.99, took about four months to sell on best offer of $50. This is a rare vintage Disney Aladdin picture frame. Nice. Four bucks and sold for $50. Tina Wozniak, our Hot Wheels specialist, said if there is a Hot Wheels piece hubby will find it bought at Goodwill bins on February 10th for $1.69 sold for $20 on February 13th this is a Hot Wheels 2021 blue track power booster motorized launcher so you stick the little car in there and then it launches it out. What a fun thing. $1.69 sold for $20. Donna Shirley paid $3 at the thrift store, listed for a week, sold for $36.99. Tori Birch Athletic Skirt Skort. That is a fun pattern. $3 sold for just under $37. Sharon Brower found this Carter's Just One You Lovey at Goodwill for $2.17. It sold for full price of $22.97 after four and a half months. Carter's Just One You Bear Lovey Security Blanket. $2.17 sold for $22.97. Okay, Janine Allen Joyce, Garnier Thibot Robe, found at Goodwill for $3.99, sold on best offer for $40 plus shipping in about a month. I only know this brand because I had found three big boxes of tablecloths at a distribution center reset several years ago. I paid $3 for each 20 count box. I sold most of them locally since they were so heavy. I think I sold most of them for $20 each and dropped the prices later to get rid of them. I still have about five for myself. A few have transitioned into makeshift seat covers in the car on rainy days to contain muddy paw prints and wet wagging tails after our morning walk. So there you can see it's a spa robe, 100% cotton. She paid $3.99 and it sold for $40 for just this plain looking white terry cloth robe. Another item that's just hiding in plain sight. There is lots of money in sleepwear, so if you're not looking at it, maybe this will encourage you to do so. Next up is Louis Prizzy. Paid $4 at Savers, listed for $89.95, sold for best offer of $80, and the buyer bought about $40 in additional items. Ooh, I love those buyers. This is a vintage 1974 Fisher Price Little People Play Family Castle. $4, sold for $80. Paula Brennan Waters, also found at the bins, paid 95 cents and sold within a week for full price. The bins are my newest best friend. The item is Chalk Couture Transfer Lot. Interesting. 
So I guess iron on transfers. 95 cents and sold for $38.99. Now we have Kathy Jordan Hermans paid $12.50 for this Polish pottery coffee pot. Sold on offer for $32. Took just under eight months. And the brand is pronounced Bolesławia Polish Art Pottery. And it has a very distinctive look. It's usually blue or white with these swirls or circles with a little design in the middle. So that is the gold standard of Polish pottery, if you are not aware. And say it with me, Bolesławia, Polish pottery. See, you get to learn new words when you watch these videos. Okay, Christy Lovegren Hensley. I've been trying out the bra section of Goodwill. This torrid bra was listed four months ago and cost $5.35 and sold for $20. Bucks. Torrid bra size 40B. Yes, bras are great to sell. Um, I hate that you paid $5 for it because sometimes you can find them for 50 cents or a dollar and that definitely helps the profit margin. But um, kudos to you, Christy, for experimenting with new products. Rachel Hilst, I bought this vintage Disney blanket at Goodwill for 99 cents. It sold overnight for 55 plus shipping. Vintage Dundee Disney Baby Blanket, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and Pluto, and it's a crib quilt. So it was 99 cents and sold for $55. Tammy Mitchell purchased at thrift store for $2. Took over a year to sell. Sold for $29.96 plus shipping. And this is another baby bedding item. Vintage baby blanket Sesame Street with Elmo, Big Bird, and Cookie Monster. $2 and sold for just under $30. And I'm really enjoying finding and selling baby linens just because they're smaller. A lot of them have nostalgia. The young child that had this blanket is now grown. They're an adult and they are uh, buying back their childhood. Um, Julie Norman, who was on the podcast, taught me that phrase and it's really true. Uh, when nostalgia is involved, you're buying back your childhood or your youth. So um, if you are trying to compact your inventory so it doesn't take up so much space. <laughs> um, baby linens are a great product because they're already small and they do have that nostalgia factor and they can sell for high prices like you see here. Okay, Susie Palmer Grant. These were draped around a nice name brand men's shirt in Goodwill along with a fancy tie, so I thought they might be worth something. Paid only 74 cents and sold in a week for $46.90 plus shipping. The sell-through rate is great on these, by the way. The brand is Trafalgar. These are leather suspenders. And this is another overlooked item. It's small, compact, doesn't take up room to store, easy to ship, and some of these can be quite expensive if they are higher end brands and or include leather. So another great item to put on your look for list. 74 cents and they sold for just under $47. That's a great flip. Kim Pomeranz, yet another Jams World shirt from the estate sale that keeps on giving. I had priced this high at $79.99 back in October when it was first listed. I got an offer minutes later for $65, which I countered because I knew it would sell for more, especially since it got multiple watchers immediately. 
the buyer declined and I continued to get more watchers and sent out 10% off offers but no more offers from watchers came in. I got an offer last night for $50 which I countered at 68 but the buyer said $52.50 plus shipping was the best they could do. I went ahead and accepted since I'd had it for four months and I only paid $4 for it. You just never know about those initial offers. So the item is Jams World Collector's Edition Men's Hawaiian Shirt. She paid $4 and the final selling price was $52.50 plus shipping. Next up is Terry Wilcox. Bought this last weekend for a dollar at a local church thrift store. Sold in about three days. It is a ceramic tile from 1993. Celebration of American quilts. And it sold for $19.99. What a fun flip. A dollar into $20 in three days and it's a small easy to ship item. Okay, Sue Ann Acres. I found this at a children's consignment store. This is from a subscription box from Lovery and is one of the most popular items. The only way to get this toy is to subscribe to Lovery or find it second hand. I paid seven dollars. It sold in seven weeks for full price of $79.99 plus shipping. So it's a funky toy. Uh, I guess you put a ball on the top and then it goes down into the hole. It's called the Babbler Slide and Seek Ball Run. And she says, see video in her title. So very smart of you, Sue Ann, to include that. So uh, videos create buyer confidence because they can see the item working or in action. So I strongly suggest if you have any items that move or play music or even if they have multiple parts and you can't capture everything in photos, add a video and eBay has made this very easy. It's right there on the listing form um, in the section where you add your photos and you can just do it from your phone and upload it straight to the listing. Very easy. Okay, Melissa Kerr Foshi paid $4 at my local Goodwill. I bought a bunch of different Pier 1 pillows that obviously were new and I think they were donated directly to Goodwill when they went out of business. I finally just listed this and it sold a few hours later for full price. So this is a Pier 1 beaded throw pillow with hearts. Yes, pillows and pillow cases can be quite lucrative and by pillow cases I mean if you find a pillow like this and it has a zipper or buttons or a way to take the cover off you can sell just the cover without the pillow inside that cuts down on shipping costs and some people don't even care they're gonna put that pillow case pillow cover over something they already have anyway they may not want um, that gross pillow inside <laughs> uh, they can wash the cover so um, Think about that if you're not looking through the pillows because some of these are quite beautiful. They um, can be handmade and have a lot of detail such as the beading here, embroidery, or they could be made of linen or another expensive fabric. So um, yeah, take the pillow out <laughs> so you don't have to ship it if um, that's something that appeals to you. Okay, Ginger Lamp Bright. I bought these for $3 at my local thrift store about a week ago. Sold for full asking price of $39.99 plus shipping. And these are SAS Relaxed Sandals uh, made of leather. $3 sold for $39.99. Courtney Feiselman. I found six of these at the Goodwill bins. Both sets sold pretty fast. This is a set of three Rayovac fluorescent bulbs 
for nine watt lanterns. And you might think, well, that's kind of a boring item. That's not really exciting, but uh, pretty lucrative. These are getting harder and harder to find. So she didn't say how much she paid for these, but it couldn't have been much if they were at the bins. So a set of three sold for just under $30. Eileen Cole. This vintage cruel embroidery kit cost me nothing. It was day three of an estate sale and all the crafts and sewing items were free. No comps on this kit, so I listed it at 39 because it was missing a zipper for one of the pillow covers. It sold in four hours for full asking price plus shipping. So now, of course, I'm thinking I priced it too low. No, don't think that. You flipped it, you got your money, and maybe the buyer had an alert set up, so they have been looking for this for a while. Um, hey, you got the sale. Don't second guess yourself. And that goes to everybody, not just Eileen. This is a Bucilla Cruel Embroidery Kit, and it was free, and she flipped it for $39. Kyle Horton started listing some jewelry. One of the first things that sold overnight is this Avon duck necklace. Vintage 1979 Avon Gold Darling Ducklings Necklace. And he sold it for $30. Wendy Kruger paid $2 at an estate sale, part of a jewelry grab bag. Sold for $35 plus shipping in three months. This is Celtic Cladaw earrings, pierced gold, green enamel. So $35, and in case you're not familiar with the word Cladaw, C-L-A-D-D-A-G-H, um, here's the definition. It has three components. The heart is the central feature of the ring or piece of jewelry. As you might suspect, the heart represents love. The crown is a traditional symbol of royalty. In this case, the crown is a symbol of loyalty. The hands that come together to hold the heart and the crown above represent friendship. So here's a closer look at that. You've got the crown, the heart, and the hands. And that's what makes up the Cladaw design. Julie Gambino has another one. Purchased at Goodwill for $4.49. Sold in less than a week for full asking while the store was on sale. This is G.H. Bass Weegens Navy Blue Patent Leather Penny Loafers. Who remembers wearing these <laughs> uh, in high school or whenever? Bass Weegens. Um, hadn't seen that in a long time. So she paid $4.49 and these sold for $47.49. Next up is Lynn Merritt. Found these Adams Family Funko Pops at a yard sale this past summer for $4 each. Got around to listing them and they sold in one week on auction for $83 with six bids. Four Funko Pop Adams Family Gomez, Chase, Morticia, Wednesday, Uncle Fester. And these are new in the package. So $16 and they sold for $83. Jessica Wolf sold these on auction for $100 the first time, but the buyer didn't pay. Sold during the second auction for $60 plus shipping. Investment was just a few dollars. Bratz Doll Lot, Various Dolls, Year 2001 and Others. <laughs> $60 and how much did she pay for them? Oh, she said it was just a few dollars. So that's a great flip. Okay, next up is Carlos Chavez. I got this June Carter Cash CD, Keep on the Sunny Side, Her Life in Music, new for 25 cents and it sold for best offer of $30 plus shipping in about two months. Jackie Basie 
The same estate sale mentioned above, less than $1. Someone offered $30 for a single item. This is Volair Hair Volumizing Weightless Shampoo, Conditioner, and Spray. So $75 for the set, and she paid less than a dollar at an estate sale. Tim Rachel Beachy, I'd sell men's clothes all day long and love finding good working wear and Western brands. This was $5 at Goodwill, sold in a month for $34.99 plus shipping. The item is Wrangler Men's Puffer Vest, full zip, size two extra large. So a lot going on with this. We have a durable brand, Wrangler. It's a big size, two extra large, and I feel like dark colors sell better for workwear because you can't see as much dirt on them. <laughs> but that's just my observation. Anyway, this was $5 and sold for $34.99. Kim Furman, I picked up six of this Seven Dwarfs desk set for $3. I sold one already, making my money back. This is the third one to sell for full asking price. I actually sold another to the same buyer, and that's in a different post. This sold for $24.95, and it's Disney Desk Sneezy Note Holder. So it's just a, a desk item, and it was $3. She sold it for $24.95. Marie Hamilton. Purchased at Savers for $1.99 each, then used 20% off coupon. Took about three weeks to sell. Kate Spade, three-piece kitchen towel oven mitt and pot holder. I did not even know that Kate Spade made household items, so <laughs> that's new to me. So $1.99, and this sold for $29.99. So if you want to have your designer stuff in the kitchen, that's available to you. Brian Hilliard sold the same day for $55. Sent out an offer to a watcher and they accepted. There wasn't any decent yard sales Saturday, so decided to go out to the flea market. This is the only thing I could find worth flipping. Paid $8. Nike Air Max women's sneakers and they sold for 55. Kathleen Gifford. I picked up this plush at Goodwill 10 months ago. I paid $4.99. It sold for full asking price of $35.99. The buyer said it was purchased for a childhood friend. Authentic Lion King Mufasa carrying Simba plush with the tags. $4.99 and sold for $35.99. Mark Sherrill, who always has interesting vintage items, paid 50 cents at an estate sale, sold for $15 plus $8 shipping, vintage new old stock Bon Ami cleaning cake. Oh, I remember that stuff. That's what they used to clean our desks in elementary school, Bon Ami. <laughs> uh, 50 cents and it sold for $15. And finally, Ken McNamara paid $5, sold for $55, and it sold in two days. Pyrex Turquoise Blue Snowflake Oval Casserole Dish with Lid. And that is in beautiful, pristine condition. I have yet to find any Pyrex that is in this kind of condition. Uh, maybe it just has to do with how the thrift stores process their items or what gets donated, but most of the decorative Pyrex or the vintage Pyrex is in pretty bad shape in, in my experience along my travels. So um, kudos to you, Ken, for finding this um, beautiful item. $5.00 and it sold for $55.71. Okay, that wraps up another seller shout out. 
Stay positive, everybody. Keep moving forward. Remember, all the small actions add up to results over time. Thanks again for watching and have a great day on eBay. See you next time. Bye.